Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. This was a highly requested episode, and I'm sorry that I didn't get to it sooner, uh, but today we're going to look at how to make random crates. The way that I'm going to implement this is you will be able to craft a random crate by combining a chest and a trip hook wire, trip wire hook, uh, which looks like a key, so theoretically it would be like taking the chest and a key, um, and it would then give you a random item. Now this could also be done where you click on a chest, you open up a real chest in the world, and it fills up with random items, and that would be pretty similar to how you would implement this. I'm going to do it using the recipe, uh, using the crafting, because it's a little bit easier, but the main uh, thing that you should take away from this episode is that we're going to have percentages weighted uh, random choice. So I'll show you in one second, but we're going to make it so that you can say there's a 50% chance of this item coming, a 20% chance of this item coming, a 10% chance of a diamond, a 1% chance of some really rare item, and then maybe a 75% chance of some common item so that most of the time you get something that's not great, but there is a small chance of getting something good. So that's the main thing that we want to look at today. Um, but then after that, you will be able to implement the crate idea however you want. You could do it using real chests. So let's take a look really quickly at the configuration file. Here's how I have it set up. So what happens is you have your items right here, and then under each one, you put the material ID and then the percent chance. And the percentages need to add up to 100 or else you will get an error when you use this once we implement it. Um, but So right now with this current example, you will have a 20% chance of getting stone, 50% chance of getting a chest, 10% chance of getting a diamond, 20% chance of getting gravel. And again, these are the material ID names, so whatever the name is that shows up in that material enumerator is what you would put there. Then the percent chance, make sure that they add up to 100. Uh, in this case, they do, so we're good. What we're going to do is we're going to read in these values and stick them in an array in a special... Um, a special we're going to make a special array for these, and we're going to have it so that every time the item is crafted, it will randomly generate an item using the weights and then it will give it to you. So let's go ahead and get started with that. We have our random creates class which extends Java plugin and implements listener. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start sorry, override. We'll go ahead and start with our public void on enable. Oops. On enable. Okay. So in here um, this is where we're going to do two things, or three actually. We need to register the recipe that would be the crate and the key to open it up. We need to register our listener that we're going to write, and then we need to read the configuration file and set up our array correctly. So first we'll go ahead and do bucket.getServer.addRecipe. So here you can use either a shaped recipe or a shapeless recipe. In this case, I'll use a shapeless recipe because uh, we don't really care about the shape. We just care that there's a chest and a key in there. So we'll go ahead and make a new shapeless recipe. And we'll import that. And shapeless recipe needs to take the item that it will result in. Now the way that we're going to make this work is we're going to have it give back dirt. So we're going to have it give material.dirt. And what's going to happen is when the player goes to craft this, it's going to appear that they've crafted dirt. But when they click on the dirt, it will change into whatever random item it is. And that's the way that this has to work. Because you can't dynamically change the result of the recipe 
Um, so you have to change it after it is crafted. So what I would recommend doing is maybe putting a, um, you know, some item meta on this so that it will say, click here to reveal your mystery prize or something so that the user isn't confused. If they think that they've crafted dirt, they won't do it, but if they know that uh, it will change when they click on it, then they would. So maybe you should add some item meta there. Um, okay, so we have our shapeless recipe, and uh, we need to import item stack. We need to import material and item stack. Now we need to set um, all of the information in here. And this does use the builder pattern, which makes it nice and easy. Um, but we can go ahead and use, we'll go ahead and add an ingredient. So we'll add, um, it was a trip, trip wire hook, which happens to look like a key. And then we'll add another ingredient, which would be the chest. And you could set a certain number, so maybe you need two keys to open a chest. And also, this is going to be a very basic version of this. Um, so you could have multiple types of chests and things like that, but this is just going to be a very basic version of that. So we have our shapeless recipe. It will result in dirt, and it takes one tripwire hook and one chest in order to work. So we have the recipe set up. Great. Now we need to, excuse me, we need to register the listeners. Actually, I think we should probably do that after we load the data. So we'll go ahead and load the data. Now there's going to be two things, two instance variables that we need, because we are going to have an event, uh, so we need these accessible. So we need an instance of the random class, because we're going to use that to pick the random uh, item to give. And then we need a material array called items. And this will be the array of all of the items that could possibly be chosen. And all we have to do is generate a random index in this array. And then we can have our random item. So first we'll go ahead and do what we need to do. Get config.options.copy defaults true and then save config. So we need to make sure that the config file is generated um, or else this will kind of break because there's no configuration. So once we know that the file is generated, here's how we're going to do this. We're assuming that this adds up to be 100. So what we can do is we could create this array, material array of size 100, and we could stick in 20 stones, 50 chests, 10 diamonds, and 20 gravels. And we generate a random array, random index in the array, and if half of the array is material.chest, then there's a 50% chance, theoretically, that you would get it. So that's how we're going to do this. We're first going to initialize uh, our random. And we're not going to use that in here, but we are going to use it in our event. And then we're going to make um, the items a new material array of size 100. Again, the percentage will add up to 100%, so there's going to be 100 items in there. Now we're going to go through each entry uh, in the items map, I suppose. Uh, so we'll do that like this, get config, dot get configuration section items dot get uh, values false. So we're going to go through each entry in here. So let's import entry. Okay. So we're going to go through each um, entry in here and oh sorry dot entry set. <clears throat> so we're going to go over each uh, entry that we have so we'll go into items, and then each entry will be something like keystone value 20, key chest, diamond, uh, key chest value 50, diamond 10, gravel 20. And what we're going to do is we need this temporary index value, which will be 0, and that's going to be the index of items where we're going to put our thing. And we're going to say for int i equals 0, i is less than integer dot value of entry dot get value dot to string i I plus plus. So this is going to run for the amount of times that we have specified there. So this will go from 0 to 19 in the case of stone, 0 to 49 in the case of chest. So this right here <clears throat> takes the value, which is the number, and 
converts it to an integer. So this is going to run the correct number of times, and we're going to say items at index plus plus is equal to material dot value of entry dot get key. So what this is going to do is it's going to set <clears throat> items at the given index to be equal to, and this will the index will start at zero. So first time it'll set items zero to be equal to. Uh, we're going to take the key, which is uh, this stone, chest, diamond, gravel, and we're going to convert it to a material, and we need to use um, get key dot to uppercase. That's important because it's an enumerator. And then the plus plus means after this line runs, index will have one added to it. So if the values right here, 20, 50, 10, 20, if those do add up to 100, like they do in the case of the configuration file, then this will work correctly. The uh, material array will be filled with exactly 100 items, and you know it'll be filled the correct number of times. So 20 stone, 50 chest, 10 diamond, and 20 gravel. So that makes it really simple to just generate a random index. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create an event for when a craft happens. And when a craft happens, assuming it's the correct craft, and we'll check for that, then we're going to change the item. So at over, or not, sorry, event handler. Public void on, uh, sorry, it's on item craft, and that's an item craft event E. And before I forget, we'll just do it right down here. We're going to register our listeners. Um, and I'm going to do that at the very bottom because I want to make sure that the recipe is registered and the configuration file is loaded before I, um, you know, register this listener. Um, sorry, dot get plugin manager dot register events this this okay. All right. So now in the item craft event, which I will import. Oh, I think it's what is it? Craft item event. Okay, so it's craft item event, sorry. So now, uh, if we take a look at what's inside of here, um, this does inherit from inventory event. So the one thing that we're, the way that we're going to handle this is we're going to say if e.get result, no, sorry, not result, e.get recipe, um, I guess the best way, the way that we'll just do this is we'll say if e.get recipe.get result, dot get type is equal to material dot dirt. Now what you really should do here is you should say um, use the item meta of the dirt because you're gonna have item meta here for this dirt so that it will say click here to open to see your mystery item or whatever click here to open your chest so um, this is just saying if the result of the craft is dirt, but it would be safer to say if the result of the craft has the line, click here to open your mystery chest, that would probably be better. Um, um, but it's, it's up to you. So this is just to see if this is the correct craft, um, then we're just going to assume it's correct for now. And we're going to say e dot set result. sorry, not set result. e dot... get recipe uh, what was it again oh I'm sorry it's e dot get inventory which returns a crafting inventory and then we can do set result in there so this is a crafting inventory um, it represents you know a crafting bench or the 2 by 2 crafting grid for the player and we can set the result um, which is what we want to do to be a new item stack and the um, material will be items at index random dot next int items dot length so what this will do is this will generate a random index inside of items and then we get whatever material is there and then we create a new item stack now if you wanted to do um, you know, an amount, so you could say you get 20% chance of two gravel, 30% chance of three chest, um, you could, you know, add, so you have chest, and you would say probability 50, amount 3, but in this case, we're just going to say that you get one of whichever item you get.
So this should be good. We load in the data, put it correctly into the uh, items array, and then we uh, listen for the craft and change the item. Let's just really quickly, I'm going to um, put this in here just to show you guys. Um, we're going to do, this will print out once we're finished setting up, it will print out the uh, items array so you can just see how it's filled up. And oh, I do have my plugin.yml created, no commands, no permissions or anything, but uh, just the standard stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and export this, and I already have the server running, which is why my computer is being really slow. Uh, but you can see that right there is the array. And you can see that it's set up correctly. Um, if you wanted to count it, there are 10 stone, 50 chest, or sorry, 20 stone, 50 chests, 10 diamond, and 20 gravel. So that's the array, and generating a random index should follow that weighting um, idea that we had. I suppose you could jumble up the array, shuffle it if you wanted to, but I don't think that's really necessary. So let's go into here, and I already have my inventory set up with a bunch of chests and trip hook, tripwire hooks, uh, to be keys. So we'll go in here to our crafting and I'm gonna stick in a chest and a hook and oh I'm sorry I guess that results in a trapped chest. Okay so you just have to make sure that you don't arrange it in a way that it would give you a trapped chest but if I put it in any other um, position like that then it will result in dirt and that's what we want you could, I suppose in this case, you could use a shaped recipe to make it be something like a diagonal, but uh, it's up to you. So we have our dirt, and when we click on the dirt, got pretty lucky that time, I actually got a diamond, which is one of the items that we had in there, and there was a 10% chance of getting that. So let's try this uh, again. Click on that dirt, got another diamond. That's interesting. Okay, good. That time I received a stone. And let's just do this one more time. And that time I got gravel. So uh, I'll just quickly switch over to, there we go, creative mode. And I'll just grab some more chests and uh, some tripwire hooks. And we can just try this for a few minutes. Um, but you'll see, so we grab it and it is gravel that time. We grab it again and it's a diamond. That time it's a chest. And the probability may seem a bit off, like I got a bunch of diamonds but not that many chests, uh, but it is every time it picks a new number, so uh, it depends on your luck. So right now I'm getting a lot of chests, which makes sense because it's 50% chance. Um, but you did see that I got all four of the different items, stone, gravel, diamond, and chest. So uh, you can also clearly see that these are weighted because I haven't gotten a diamond in a while, but I have more chests than anything else here. Um, but that's all for this video. Again, if you wanted to do this using actual chests where you would you know, click on a chest block and then it would fill with some random item, that would not be hard to do. You would just... Um, you know, use the same algorithm but have a chest open event or player interact event or inventory open event, whatever it is, and then fill it up. So um, this is just the general concept of how you would go about doing this. Um, but there you go. It clearly does work using these weights. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more coding. Bye for now.